Louisville is really embracing its past to make the history better or the future better. The founder of the Roots 101 Museum, historian Lamont Collins of Louisville, tells us West Louisville has been redlined in the health, home, and business industries for decades. But now with a $13 million investment, the city is actively working to address the inequities. Redlining comes from the refusal to grant loans or investments because someone lives in an area deemed to be a poor financial risk. Today, Metro Council member Keisha Dorsey announced the plan to tackle the issue. WHS 11's Bobby McSwine was there, and Bobby is here right now to bring us more on the story. And what does Keisha uh, Dorsey hope this money uh, will do, Bobby? Well, Doug, the goal is for more home ownership. More home ownership means more equity, and it means that it will create generational wealth in healthier neighborhoods. A historic systemic issue being addressed in Louisville. The Metro's decades-long complicity in redlining is still affecting Louisvillians today. Councilwoman Keisha Dorsey pointing to a 2019 Metro housing report. Even when the median incomes of homes raised in Shively, there was still and still is a depression in home value that can be attributed to nothing else other than race. It's why Dorsey and other council members are proposing $13 million be used to tackle redlining. Nearly 200 families would receive up to $50,000, totaling about 10 million. That investment would be aimed toward vacant and abandoned buildings in historically redlined areas. If you don't want to see out of town developers come in and buy up your community, you first have to buy it yourself. And we are taking that step today. $3 million would go to community partners who would make sure those families have additional funding so they can complete the project. Because there's no sense in giving them $50,000 and having them fall in love with the home and then be able to tell them they can't have it. Lamont Collins, Louisville historian and founder of Roots 101 African American Museum, says this move is needed. I'm glad the forefront of what we're hearing now is about economic development and not the fear factor of safety in the inner city. But he wonders what protections will be in place to make sure longtime residents aren't priced out if property values increase. What are we gonna do for the hardships of the grandma or big mama that lived in that house 30, 40 years? Council members and community partners say this proposal isn't the end, just the beginning of undoing historical wrongs. Of course, this has to go to the full council for approval. If pa passed, the plan is reported to take 18 to 24 months to complete. Doug? Big step. All right. Thank you very much, Bobby.